Hi, I just ish got back uh, from a trip to Disney World, a six day long trip to Disney World, and I want to show you guys what is now in my home as a result of that trip in a special segment of Peter Pin's Flight. Alright, so we're going to start with some non-pin stuff, um, although we have a very special pin board kind of ready to go um, to show off um, the pins that both Denny and I picked out while we were there. We went a little crazy, but let's start with some non-pin um, stuff first. Uh, so uh, you may notice behind me there's a few more um, accessories than there than there was before um, we got four popcorn buckets so um, I mean this one over here is one that we got from our our trip in April and then I guess I've just officially lost my mind and now we're collecting popcorn buckets as well as pins and a few other things um, it's also like we needed one for each park maybe is that my excuse so anyway let's uh, take a look so we got the super cute um, alien in pajamas, which was totally just the alien in the Santa outfit last year, right? But this year he has uh, pajamas on and this really popular buffalo plaid, um, like that spirit jersey that was completely sold out apparently. Um, well, in my size anyway, uh, which I was very upset about, but this is a nice little consolation. Ooh. So obviously it's not going to show up that well in my very well lit room right now, but, um, a lot of, I love it when cast members like, uh, say, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Or where'd you get that about things that you got in Walt Disney World? Or it's like, wow, that's so huge. Like nobody... I just assume that everybody is aware of all the merchandise, but how could they be, right? Um, so this was very cute and got a lot of attention. However, I'm going to say if I'm catching anybody in time to, to, for them to go on their holiday trips um, who's looking for a popcorn bucket that will last, this is not that one. I don't know if it's just because I have a six-year-old or if I'm just rough with my stuff, but we lost quite a few bulbs from this and... Um, the popcorn garland, which obviously that's the cutest thing in the whole world, popcorn garland on a popcorn bucket. Done. Put the pen down, you can leave for the day, whoever came up with this, because that's brilliant. But it doesn't stay on that well in, in, in action. So, uh, but it's still super cute. And, you know, d nobody's really going to notice, or me, <laughs> I'm not really going to notice, um, when it's just sitting here in my room that it's a little bit broken. And then on, we got uh, this bucket one day in the Magic Kingdom when we forgot our other popcorn buckets because I'm a fool, but I'm also not gonna pay to just get a paper one and Dennis and I need popcorn at all times. I don't know. Listen, I'm not trying to make excuses. It's ridiculous that we bought this, but also I needed it, so. Uh, same story here in Animal Kingdom we had forgotten our popcorn buckets back at uh, the hotel room we had a really early morning and we forgot our popcorn buckets and this is really cute and it's also like still there um, in celebration of the Lion King so I felt like even though I wasn't in the parks at around the time the Lion King came out uh, the live-action version live action version. Um, I'm really happy that uh, we got to grab this uh, bucket that was celebrating it because I really enjoyed that movie. Okay, uh, so that concludes the popcorn bucket section of the program. Um, let's move on to some hats. Dennis picked out two new hats this trip. He got uh, the new Epcot logo hat, which I'm really excited about because I think I love the new slash old uh, logo, the type, the font, I love it, and I'm excited that he, he of his own volition, picked this out and wanted to wear it. It's also good for his little face, right? Have a bill, have a some protection from the sun. 
for when I inevitably forget to reapply sunscreen for him. Terrible. Uh, and then the irresponsible purchase a droid Mickey ear. He and Grandma picked this out in uh, the ink and paint shop when I was getting ready to for Dennis and I to head out um, to Epcot on our arrival day. Um, the two of them hit the gift shop right away while I was trying to rearrange my park bag and get everything ready to go. Uh, they went and selected this hat and I'm not mad about it. Um, I will say though that um, this heaviness on the top causes it to fall back a lot on a young boy. So I'm sure if you're a grown adult who's wearing this, no judgment obviously, uh, but it does tend to slip back on a small kid who isn't trying to be conscious of keeping it on top of their head. But um, it's so cute. It's the cutest thing. It's BB-8. Come on. Oh, he's looking at me. Hi. Speaking of uh, Star Wars, our Galaxy's Edge, uh, we built a droid while we were there, but we're going to talk about that in a separate video because Denny is really eager to show you all about the droid that he built. Um, the thing that I was most excited about in uh, Galaxy's Edge, the Diet Coke bombs. So, got one of those and I drank it because I can, I can just, and I'm going to keep it um, around because it's so cute and anyone who knows me knows that I have a, a Diet Coke habit that could rival certain famous people's um, love of Diet Coke, but I had it first, I think. Anyway, um, I love Diet Coke and I drink too much of it. And now I have this. Okay, so segueing from the Galaxy's Edge consumables to other consumables, uh, when we were in Adventureland in Magic Kingdom, they saw me coming and I got the <laughs> little souvenir bowl uh, at Aloha Isle. Um, and I have no regrets. I have a few regrets, but they're not big. I just get so swept up and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, like, this will make, you know, eating ice cream more fun at home, or this will make cereal bearable, or, you know, I have so many, I'm putting a lot of pressure on a small plastic, non-microwavable and non-dishwasher safe bowl, but it's cute. And I have, a, I do have a lot of other, like, tiki themed stuff. So if I ever throw another tiki party, uh, I will have this bowl to put some garnishes in, like a build your own tiki drink party. Um, this will hold quite a few skewers of stuff, right? Right. And then another, I mean these are all impulse buys, but another major impulse buy, Ezra. He was there when I was mobile ordering for a late, late dinner at Pecos Bill's Tall Tale in N Cafe. He was just staring at me, asking for a ride, and I said, yeah, you can come home with me. That's fine. He followed me home. And then these buttons were actually a gift from my mom, because she's the best. Um, I saw them at the Emporium, and I had to have them. Oops. So we have Welcome Foolish Mortals and I'll be your skipper, tour guide, social director, and swim instructor. If you don't laugh at my jokes, I'll throw you in the water. Hire me. I have fallen, I'm, I'm less in love with the actual Jungle Cruise now um, than, than I have been in the past. I love all of the little things that you find in the queue and I love the Jungle Navigational Company Limited Skipper Canteen restaurant. My favorite restaurant on property, fight me. But um, I don't love the actual attraction that much. As I, well, it's like of those three things, it's my least favorite of the three. But I do love this joke. I've always loved the little, I'll be your 
And he says, I'll be your swim, I'll be your swim instructor. Uh, going back very quickly to Haunted Mansion, I don't collect Funko Pop, but my friend does, so I got uh, this Madame Leota Funko Pop, and I'm hoping against hope that he doesn't have it, because if he does have it, then I have to keep this one, and then I have a huge another um, collection to fill on my hands, and I don't, I can't handle that. I I can't handle that kind of uh, pressure. So I hope that he doesn't have this. She's really cool. She glows in the dark. Ooh. And then I also got these pens to try and brighten up uh, my life at work when I do occasionally still write things down on paper and not just uh, all on the computer. But we have Welcome Foolish Mortals. Here we go! Dead Men Tell No Tales in the tiki 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 room and it's the wildest ride in the wilderness there's also an it's a small world one but my mom took that one she deserves it i'm happy for her um i will say this is my first trip to disney world with the skyliner and without fail every time it took off i shouted here we go and that includes times when i wasn't alone on the skyliner it wasn't just me and denny when there were other families on there and so sorry if you're watching if I ruined your your moment there but what else are you supposed to say it's like the exact same motion as Peter Peter Pan's flight here we go so we thought that we were going to finish Dennis's Wilderness Explorer book this time uh, we didn't uh, every time we went to Animal Kingdom we had uh, like a, a some sort of disruption or we got real, something happened and it, you know, shortened our day there. So we didn't um, get the book finished, which means that we get to do it when we go again in June. So uh, Dennis picked out this shirt, which is the cutest thing in the whole world. And I'm relatively certain that it will still fit him when we go, uh, when he goes with me again in June. Um, love that little flag on the sleeve. So cute. Don't know why that's not working for me, but um, I love it. And it also has the missing patch on it, just like on his ears, which are somewhere. Hmm. Need to find those. And this also picked out um, because of Disney Plus. He's been watching Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, and huge fan, loves it. So uh, we were in Hollywood Studios, and on another mission, he found this lounge fly bag and had to have it and I couldn't say no because it's the cutest thing I love that like you know if it was just this I'd be like hmm it's $80 I don't know even with you know even with a discount whoa um but it's double-sided like wh what am I supposed to do how am I supposed to refuse anyone this um so he wore it for a little while, but since we've gotten back, oops, I've kind of been using it as my purse now. So I'll give it back if he says anything, but he hasn't said anything yet, so. Okay, so now we're gonna do what this segment is really supposed to be. We're gonna talk about the pins that we got while we were there. Um, so I have some that, that Dennis removed from the cards while we were there. There are two collections on this board that I've made just to show you guys the newest stuff that we got. And we'll, we'll go through Denny's first. So, okay, so we're gonna start with Dennis's new collection um, and stuff that he traded for while we were at the park. So um, this isn't, um, we didn't do a ton of trading. We kind of just went crazy buying things um, from the pin carts and the, the pin shops, but did a little trading um so over here um we have um the vultures from bed knobs and broomsticks which i was thrilled with uh that one i know it's a scrapper most likely but it's one that i haven't seen before at the park and i uh because of disney plus just rewatched bed knobs and broomsticks and i love that part <laughs> that it, where they keep coming out thinking that they're gonna get to carry away someone on their stretcher, but then they don't. Uh, Captain Hook's hook, which I'm absolutely gonna steal from my villain collection. Don't tell anybody. This Epcot symbol, which 
uh, we st I, just, I don't know what it is. I'm terrible. I don't know what this Epcot that symbol is. Please let me know. And then this one. And also, if anybody knows what collection this is from, I'll, I can Google it. I'll Google it. I'm a grown woman, and I can Google it. But, you know, if anyone knows off the top of their head before I look that up, please let me know. Uh, and then he picked out uh, this Alice in Wonderland pin, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, you know, holding a bottle that says, drink me. He had just recently watched Alice in Wonderland before our trip, so it was fresh on his mind. Uh, this Pascal pin, which, um, again, <laughs> I don't know where his love of Pascal erupted from, but it's here in great force. He picked out this stitch, uh, Santa coming down the chimney pin when we were at the Polynesian Resort, and I just now, I was today years old when I noticed that there is... A rubber element to this pin. Uh, he picked out uh, this. He's a very he's a child who's very in touch with his emotions, and I'm very happy about that. Um, he picked out this inside out pin, um, which allows you to change your mood based on how you're feeling. So we have the run the gamut: joy, anger, fear. Hi, Bill Hader. Uh, sadness and disgust. Back to joy. Uh, and I guess it does keep going around. That's pretty cool. So he wore that on his line for a while and he would uh, change it. It kind of changed itself, but he would sometimes change it to uh, reflect how he was feeling. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, as mentioned, when we were looking at the um, Rescue Rangers bag. He's super into Rescue Rangers right now, and since this character wasn't represented on the bag, he got this pin of her. Um, this uh, R2-D2, which is actually a trader, but I think it's like a legit pin. I don't think it's a scrapper. I think it's real. Um, he picked this out on a trade, and I was that, you know, he's very happy about it. I think it was right before um, we left um, Epcot to go to Hollywood Studios to make his droid. So, what better timing, huh? And then, um, I got this for him because, uh, he is an avid Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom player, and this is the cutest thing ever. And, you know, it's great. He didn't end up defeating, uh, Hades. I wanted to pin it on him when he defeated Hades, but he didn't think that was a good idea. And I said, okay. And then um, he picked this out uh, when we were at Animal Kingdom because it reminded him of um, on our walk from uh, the main building to our hotel room. We, you know, the, the animation hall. Um, on the way to the cars, or on the way to anything really, uh, you pass by the the mine, mine, mine seagulls. So excited that they only went off twice when we were around, because it doesn't happen all the time, which is good for people who want to, you know, sleep in their rooms. <laughs> but um, he was always really excited when uh, we heard them. And then here are two adventures out there. What or? Yeah, adventure is out there mystery pin boxes that I went and took a shower and he and grandma opened these mystery boxes without um, me so I was very sad obviously uh, but it looks like they got some good ones so uh, dopey and mini um, we're, we're in there um, so we have another one of those boxes I think to open so we'll see who else we get and then I picked out this uh, at this at the Polynesian Resort as well. I picked out this Meli Kalikimaka Tiki Room Birds pin, um, which I'm in love with, fully in love with. Uh, I just I love I love them I love them so. Um, a few more traders. Uh, I needed that Captain Hook chin. I know it's a scrapper probably, but I just I just needed it. Uh, same with that Pinocchio. I just love the little square ones, and if I see one, I'm going to snap it up. Um, we got this droid pin to commemorate Denny building a droid, uh, but I just, I totally love it. I love that kind of enamel, um, the clear enamel. I think that's a really cool thing that's 
present on a lot of the Star Wars pins. Very cool. Um, hey girl. Uh, addition to my villain collection, along with the Captain Hook Chen. Um, Ursula, just looking better, like she's living her best life. What a, what a role model. We got this one to commemorate completing the Chippendales uh, tree spree. Um, and also, that's a pretty integral part of my childhood was watching that um, Disney World Christmas video where they repurposed an old Chippendale cartoon um, and they're goofing around inside the tree and driving Pluto crazy. Um, so that was also a huge factor in why I purchased this pen. And then they got me with some limited edition things. There were um, two available and I had to get both of them um, because I think Denny's going to get um, his first video game system at my house anyway um, this Christmas. So um, what better time to add some video game pins to our collection and they're just so retro looking. I love them. Uh, we got Jungle Book and Tailspin regretting they're the best and I'm regretting not having more of them in my collection but these are the ones that were available while I was there now there's the ones that are still on the pin cards okay so we got our resort pin which I've actually been really bad about getting uh, these lately but this one was so cute for art of animation that I had to um, it's super cute and look, it shows all of the different characters that are represented at that hotel. We were in Cars, Lightning McQueen. We got the Spaceship Earth with Mickey ears. How cute, how cute. And then we got our limited re release with a double back, it's serious business. We got our uh, limited release um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2019 pin that Dennis picked out um, the, the, the style that we got. Um, so I love that one. The, just the cute, like this has been around for a while. I know it's just around everywhere, but um, I broke down and I finally got it because I think it's the cutest the little autograph book. So cute. This haunted mansion uh, pin, which I absolutely love. I love that the uh, little candelabra makes an appearance. The floating candelabra being held by one of the servants. I wonder what her bat's name is. Hmm. Okay, also haunted mansion is uh, graveyard jamboree with the Phantom Five. So the singing busts, which is obviously my. Mm, We'll talk about this in a later episode probably, but objectively the best part of the graveyard scene. And I'm not including the hitchhiking ghosts in the graveyard scene because that's like in the next whatever. But I love this. And also uh, this was the first time um, as an adult that I had seen the Country Bear Jamboree. So um, because I didn't get any pins specifically commemorating that, um, I thought that this was a nice allusion to having having sat through that twice on this trip. Um, jamboree. If you would like to join our jamboree. And then also of the scary spooky rides. Got uh, we invite you if you dare. Your room is ready. Are you starring your bellhop? Uh, Hollywood Tower Hotel in color so I love that I love his little outfit I love the detail of the patterning on that suitcase it's perfect what's not to love I love that it's a movie poster uh, yeah Splash Mountain pin on pin uh, come on doesn't really capture the um, the magnitude of that drop uh, but it comes close. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Love it. It just looks like a little, like a comic book, kind of. A panel in a comic book, and I, I, I enjoy that. Um, please let me know 
if you know if this is part of like a larger series like this this style of the um, attractions because um, I love that but I've only ever seen this one and I'm still so new to all this but I'm jumping in with both feet and then Dennis is very excited about this one test track the lenticular business there so that's pretty cool um, we already talked about a few additions to my villain collection looking at the board however uh, I got two more Cruella this scene scared the bejeebers out of me when I was a kid and this is basically therapy right to buy this pen probably anyway I don't know why I was so scared she's she's fabulous look at that goals if anything and then I think my favorite villain pin that I own so far which is really funny because I don't have any other evil stepmother merchandise that I'm aware of but it's my favorite thing uh, I said if Ooh. okay so like we talk you know like Jafar is evil uh, he's trying to take over the world um, you know like the the kind of crazy outlandish villains that like we know are they're bad and they're evil um, but <laughs> I said if that line in the movie where you know she's just she's the most evil she's evil it's kind of like that Voldemort versus um, Umbridge thing right where it's like we all know Voldemort's evil but Professor Umbridge is the one where we're like you stop doing that to Harry Potter so not to jump over to Universal Studios real quick but that's that's what I compare it to right right now we're going to go I'm gonna show you some footage taken at 50s primetime diner when Dennis and I just could not contain ourselves and we had to open um, one of the mystery packs that we got and wouldn't you know it's holiday themed so it's perfect for this December Peter Pins flight so here you go um. This is Peter Pan's flight. We are at Prime Times Cafe and we are going to open one box today. We just got a stocking stuffer box with 12 pins on the back. Oh, look at that. Look at all those different pins we could get. You do the honors, Dennis. You open the box. Oh gosh. Oh, Massa Creed. Oh. Alright. I'll rip one of the, the first okay. bag open. The big square one. Ooh, I'm hoping that we got your favorite one in here. The one I think is going to be your favorite. Dennis. What? Honor my Yay! You got two more hands for you. The last bag for stocking stuffers. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at the far, 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 far too many things that I brought home with me. Um, we hope that you'll join us again for future Disney haul videos or just to open all of the mystery packs that we have still to open. Um, so that'll do it for today. Anyone for pizza? <laughs>